Hey guys, welcome back to SFDC Ninja and I am back with another exciting trigger scenario. So without any further delay, let's get started. Let's talk about today's scenario. In today's scenario, we need to insert or update task on change of opportunity stage name. Let me make it simple for you. Let's say we have an opportunity record. Now whenever its stage name gets changed, then there will be two situations. First, if task record is already present on that opportunity, then in that case, we need to update stage name in task records description. And if there are no records present, then in that case, we need to create a new task record. So this is our today's scenario. Now let's talk about what will be our approach for this scenario. So at first, we will create a set in which we will store opportunity IDs on update operation. After that, we will use that set to fetch related task record. And we will store what ID and task record in a map. For those who don't know what a what ID on task is, basically, it represents the object that the task is related to. It could be account or opportunity or any other object. For example, if a task is related to an opportunity, then what ID field will contain opportunity ID. And this task will be displayed on opportunity activity history. So now after storing in map, we will iterate over opportunities and we will check that if task record is already present or not. If it is present, then we will update its description. And if it is not present, then we will insert a new task. I think that is enough for theoretical part. It's time to code. So let's switch to VS code and create a handler class. Let's name it ERG handler. Let's create our method public static void ERG method. And we will pass list of opportunity as parameter like this. Opportunity, let's say opportunity list. And in this list, we will pass trigger.new from our trigger, which means this list is equal to trigger.new. Now we will create a set to store opportunity ID like this. Set ID, let's name it IDs. ID. Now apply a null check on this list. Dot is empty. I trade over it. Now we will apply a check that on updation of opportunity record, current stage name is not equal to previous stage name. And to fetch previous stage name, we will pass a map as parameter in which we will pass trigger.oldmap from our trigger. So let's pass a map id opportunity let's say old map and this map is equal to trigger dot old map and here apply check if opp dot stage name not equals to old map dot get no stage name so this condition will get true if a user updates the stage name of opportunity record and if this condition will get true, then we will store opportunity ID in a set. So copy our set name, paste it here, dot add opp dot id. Now we want our code to be executed if this set contains a value. For that, let's apply a null check on this set like this. Dot is empty. And now using this set, we will fetch related task record. So let's create a list of tasks. List task say TSK list. And now use circle to fetch record data. Select ID, what ID, common description. We will be needing it from task where what ID in are set. Now our next step is to add vote ID and task record in a map. So for that let's create a map like this. Let's say TSK map. And this map will be used further in our code. And now we will put records in this map. For that first Apply null check on this list is empty. I read over it. Now 
and put records in this map dot put tsk dot what id and tsk now again i treat over this list for opportunity let's say opp obj and again apply a check on current stage and old stage like this opp dot stage name not equals to old map dot get dot id dot stage name and now declare a task record variable let's say new task see the reason of creating this variable is we will use the same variable to either update an existing task or insert a new task record based on certain conditions let's see how now we will apply one more check that if opportunity id of opportunities whose stage name is being updated is present in task map or not like this if dot contains key dot id and this map contains task data which is already present on opportunity so this will not be null only if task record is present on an opportunity and if task record is present then what we will do we will update its description for that let's fetch task data in this variable using get method on this map like this new task get dot id and let's update its description new task dot description opportunity opp obj dot name is being updated to stage stage name follow up accordingly now to bulkify our code we will not perform dml inside for loop so let's create a list like this list task list to date task copy its name and add this record in this list dot add new task now use else part for this if condition which means if there is no task record on opportunity so let's use else part and now we will modify this variable as a new instance like this new task and let's enter values first for subject subject will be follow up on opportunity and here opportunity name after the description description will be same now for owner id we will use this user info dot get user id basically this line will return the id of logged in user and for what id we will pass opportunity id and i have already explained about what id so let's pass it dot id new task dot activity date we'll set it today status will be not started again we will not use dml operation inside for loop so again create a list list task list to insert 
put its name and add this record in it dot add no task now for error handling we will use try and catch block like this try and inside try method we will apply null check on these two lists and perform dml accordingly so first copy its name if is empty this is for update operation and update it apply another check for this list it is empty and insert it save it and deploy it to work okay i forgot to use catch block let's use catch ex system dot debug error while inserting or updating the codes and add exception message save it and deploy it to org okay it is successfully deployed so we have our handler class ready now let's create our trigger let's name it task trg since we need to update or insert task whenever opportunity stage name gets changed or updated so the change is happening on opportunity record therefore a trigger will be on opportunity object with after update event so let's write opportunity here with after update event apply a check like this trigger dot is after and trigger dot is update this is to ensure that our trigger will invoke our handler class only on after update operation and now let's call our class handler method in first parameter we will pass trigger dot new and in second we will pass trigger dot old map save it and deploy it to org okay it is successfully deployed now it's time to test working of our trigger so let's go to our org so as of now there is no task record present on this opportunity now if we will change the stage name then a task should be created so let's update the stage name to negotiation review see a task has been created let's check its description so in description current stage name of opportunity is there now let's update the stage name again and now if our trigger is working fine then the description should get updated go to opportunity again and mark it closed closed phone refresh it now it contains the latest stage name in it which means our trigger is working fine. That's it for today guys and I'll be back with more interesting trigger scenarios. Thank you.